So by now, it should be no surprise that even with Epic's anti-cheat system, there are still people who are going to manage to successfully mod Fortnite. We watch a ton of clips a day, so it was only a matter of time before we stumbled across some clips of people cheating or hacking, but we looked into it to see how bad it actually was and to what extent they could cheat, and there are some really surprising things these hackers can do outside of just the standard aimbot wall hack, let me tell you. We've got everything from houses detaching from the ground and floating islands to ether whirlpools? Uh, Sam? That's not a hack. That's actually in the game. <laughs> Next thing you're gonna tell me, you can have a pet dragon and use a toilet plunger to zip around. Oh, as it turns out, that is just season six. You see the trailer for season six? The lifeguard dude's just like, What? 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 Tarnation! Then he turns to his buddy, he's just eating popcorn. <laughs> Welcome back to Top 5 Gaming, everyone, where today, if you like this video and subscribe right now, we will show you how to fly like Superman at Loot Lake. And with that said, let's get straight into it. Number 5, Driving the Bus. The Battle Bus on Fortnite has been through a few changes. It's had disco lights added to the windows, multiple themes to match holidays, and you can now pay your thanks to the bus driver. But now it's apparently drivable? Well, not quite. This time it's just a hack, although the hacker himself actually says this is a mod rather than a hack. But to be honest, unless you know a lot about that stuff, most people can't really tell the two apart. Showcasing this mod for educational purposes, we have YouTuber David Vlog. When flying across the island in the battle bus, you would usually get kicked out if you stayed in for too long, right? Well, this hack basically allows you to stay in the bus for what seems like an unlimited amount of time. You don't exactly get to drive the bus whenever you want, as much fun as that would be, but at least you get to enjoy the safety of chilling on the bus until there's fewer people left in the game. Many people have suggested the idea of being able to drive the bus, plus the fact that Easter egg hunters are always keeping an eye out for clues, which makes way for some epic comedy sketches. Multiple content creators have made comedy videos about trying to trick players into thinking there's some sort of unlockable riddle or mysterious method to getting back onto the battle bus, and I'd be lying if I said it wasn't funny. One guy known as Call Me Euro even got a player to land at the edge of the map and perform about five minutes worth of emotes, spins, and jumps and dances before finally baiting him to jump into the water. Supposedly to be transported to the battle bus, but I think we all know what actually happens there. There's more gold people, you see, gold uh, stuff. You see that? Yes. There's way more. Yeah. Okay. Do that emote, the default emote, if you can. Let me see if I have it. I think I do. I should have it. Like, well, come on. Well, either way, it will work between the regular email and like a dab because it's like new or older. Okay, I'm so I just I dab. Don't have the dab. Okay. I don't have a dab. Now on three, on three we're gonna stand at the edge, and on three we're gonna jump forward and then jump backwards. Okay. Wait, jump forward, and jump backwards in the water? Yeah, like you wanna like jump forward and then on the very edge you wanna come back and then you can land at the edge and then you will spawn in the battle bus. Alright then. It's so like right here. Yeah, so three, two, one, go. <laughs> yeah. Are you, are you trying to kill me or did it wrong? Nah, you just did it wrong. Number four, steal someone's name. Whenever you create a new account, you always go through the nerve wracking stage of creating a username that doesn't already exist. Some people have resorted to all types of methods to using a common name by adding X's, undercourses, and numbers. But your profile name is one of the first impressions people can get from you and having all those X's, zeros, and random capitals spread throughout your name can look a bit messy. Just take a look at all the pro players, content creators, and streamers out there. Most names are clean and simple and professional, most of the time anyway. But when you think about gaining that kind of username, you can expect nearly all the decent looking variants to be taken. Well, there's actually a lot more than you'd think, at least on PC anyway. Sorry, PS4 users. It seems you're going to be stuck with the same name forever. Taking us out of your own alphabet allows for a lot more possibilities while still maintaining the name you want. You can copy and paste letters from other languages. Well, you know, the common methods of switching an O for a zero or an E to a three to keep the username looking clean, but still available to use, right? This uses the exact same method, but using the letter from a different alphabet. Find a letter that looks the same as what you need, copy and paste it over to the letter you intend to replace, and even though it looks the same, it'll register the letter as a separate symbol. Pretty neat, right? If even that fails though, you can use websites like pastebin.com to copy and paste an invisible space on the end of your name. So whether you wanna play as one of your favorite players or create your own unique name, I'm sure that this one will help you. Chief you, Chief you, come here to me, come here to me. <laughs> Chief you, can I add you after this game? I want to be a friend. 
Number three, hacked skins, models from Save the World and more. If you've been keeping up to date with our videos, then you've seen quite a few hacked skins by now. And don't get me wrong, some of these custom skins are crazy. Y'all remember that awesome Spider-Man skin a few episodes back. Damn, that was nice. But as much as we wish, we had these real custom skins in the game. It's just a hack done by replacing certain files within the game. And as much as I'd love my own custom skin to use, I don't think I'm going to be risking my epic Fortnite account getting banned anytime soon. Luckily for us, we have YouTuber Alpha risking it all and showcasing some ridiculous outfits. Want to play as Thanos again? No problem. You can even stick his giant outfit on a normal player, making him look like that scene of the film Beetlejuice where his head gets shrunk. We've even talked about playing as the husks from Save the World a few times, and he's gotten quite a few different types of husks that you can play in. He's combined the Galaxy skin with the Omega skin to give it a cool effect, and probably the last skin that you would ever expect to see, a satellite. No, 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 not just the satellite that might match the size of a normal skin, but a giant freaking satellite that undoubtedly no one would ever use for tactical mission. These custom skins are one of the more recent trends amongst the Fortnite community, and the skins will only get crazier and better from here. Number two, USB mods similar to what you would find on Call of Duty. Right now, we're getting back to the OG hacks. These are the kind of hacks most of you know about or have seen, but aren't fully aware of how they work. Most of you are probably used to hearing about hacks and mods on PCs. It's a normal part of life now. On the other hand, it's not as common knowledge that you can get USB mods that will also work for your consoles, your PS4, and your Xbox One as well. The most common hack you've probably heard of is Aimbot, a hack that pretty much aims for you when you shoot, making every bullet hit. The ESP hack will allow you to see your opponents pretty much wherever they are on the map. Certain variations of this hack will also bring up added information about the enemy. Finally, you have your classic god mode hack, and it's always slightly different depending on the game, but essentially you become invincible, immune to damage, and unstoppable. It's kind of like the hacks that you could imagine being fun at first, but when you're playing against real players, it just feels cheap and unfair. It all depends on how you like to play and the risks you're willing to take with these hacks. As for the honorable mention, we've got teleporting likely patched now, but was available early on. So for high kill hacks, this one will definitely be amongst the overpowered bunch. With things like aimbot, ESP, and invincibility, you're pretty much set to go. Now using this teleporting hack, you can instantaneously teleport to an enemy. You used to be able to anyway. This hack hasn't been seen in a while, so there's a good chance Fortnite has it patched by now, but the teleporting hack itself was probably one of the most insane hacks we've seen in Fortnite so far. Not only will they instantly teleport to the closest player, but they'll also spawn directly behind you, making no noise and ready to shoot you in the back of the dome. The only way you're gonna take out someone using this hack is with a surprise one-shot kill, but even that would be nearly impossible to do because let's face it, you know how difficult it'd be to kill a teleporter. A lot easier said than done. All it takes is for them to click one button and they're right behind you, shooting you in the back right before you know it. Combine that with other hacks and they could fill up the kill feed in no time. Luckily for those serious players out there, Fortnite always gets on the case with patching hacks like this, but if you guys ever see a teleport, make sure to tweet us at Top5GamingX. We'd love to see it. Anyways, how would you guys feel if some dude teleported right behind you after you grinded out thousands of mats? After Epic introduced their new anti-cheat, like I said earlier, I really don't think this is possible, but man, me and Fred would be pissed. Number one, custom Fortnite skins. Okay, I know we're back to custom skins, but this time, we're using them to give us the advantage in battle instead of just looking cool. This is probably one of the sneakiest mods we know of, as it's completely undetectable. We've gone over customizing skins, but with this method, you can make all of the skins use the brightest possible colors to make them stand out clear as day amongst the grays and greens you get around the map. Essentially, you're turning everyone but yourself into a walking lighthouse. This will make it difficult for anyone to sneak up on the hacker. Plus, without any other players being able to see these custom skins and no normal normal hacks like aimbot being used, no one will be able to tell that they're hacking. As long as they've got the high ground, they pretty much have an undetectable UAV to hunt down the enemy with. Let's just hope that you can take these people down with raw skill, because hiding is pretty much out of the question. As hacks and mods go, it's not exactly the most powerful. It's pretty useful, but without other hacks, they'll still need to take you down with their own skill. We've seen some crazy mods and hacks throughout this first year of Fortnite's Battle Royale, but this is a few that we thought you guys might like. If you think you've seen crazier though, or just been killed by a hacker, tell us your story in the comments. Click the like button if you've enjoyed, subscribe to the channel if you're new, push notifications on, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Oh, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming, don't forget about that. We, we gotta make sure that IGN knows, that's, uh, that's our thing, alright? No more keep it here on IGN, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.